two weeks has been a beehive of activities at Leopard's Den as the club marks 60th anniversary since it was founded. For the benefit of all, it's important to recount the rich history of FC Leopards, a football giant not just on the Kenyan shores but East Africa at large. Here is a team that has won the Kenyan Premier League 12 times, making it the third most successful team in the competition after their bitter and long-term rivals Goma here and Tusker FC. But that is not all. Leopards have also won the Domestic Cup, or if you so wish, the FKF Cup or the President's Cup 10 times. In Africa, in the golden years of your, they gave us sweet memories. They wrote beautiful chapters in the history of Kenyan football. What with impressive performances in the Sekafa Club Championship, the CAF Champions League, and the Africa Club Cup, now renamed the CAF Confederations Cup. It is important to point out that in these continental tours, they did remarkably well, winning the Sekafa title five times, not to forget the 1968 forays in which they reached the semi-finals of what is today the CAF Champions League. In 1985, they also made headlines, reaching the semi-final of the Africa Cup Winners' Cup, today's equivalent of the CAF Confederations Cup. These towering performances of the past gave hope that 30 years on, the club would be a model in this part of the world not just football-wise, but administratively too. Sadly, 60 years on, as they celebrate their anniversary, there isn't much to write home. No clubhouse, no training venue, no meaningful address, and last but not least, no stadium. An indictment to its leadership, the men and women who've led the club since 1964. Today, many historians would struggle to write the history of this club with precision and accuracy needed. But who can blame them? Where have we reserved the club's rich history? Can one, for instance, today tell without batting an eyelid the number of appearances club legend Elijah Lidonde made or even its current president, Dan Chikanda? This is food for thought, even as Ingwe limps into a new decade. The faint hope that the future hold could be made brighter and the dreams can shine if only the leadership gets its act right. That is my shot.